Hello Steelers fans! This is Tuka from Tuka News Steelers, bringing you the latest updates straight from the world of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Before we dive into the football world, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive all notifications, and share this video with your friends and fellow Steelers fans. Let's go, all the way to the Super Bowl! Today, we're going to delve into Coach Mike Tomlin's recent statements about the Steelers' needs post-free agency. Mike Tomlin, always strategic, shared valuable insights into what we can expect from the team for the 2024 season. Let's dive in. The Pittsburgh Steelers head coach, Mike Tomlin, clarified the team's priorities after an intense period of free agency. During an interview on Monday, Tomlin communicated to reporters that, Due to the addition of several players to the roster this offseason, they don't plan to focus on any specific area before the start of the regular season in September. I'm excited about the draft solely because of the quality work we've been able to accomplish in free agency as a means to develop our football team for 2024, Tomlin said, according to the Steelers' official website. We've been very active in free agency, and that leaves you feeling very comfortable as we prepare for draft weekend. You know we've addressed many needs, and you don't feel thirsty in any specific area, and I think that's a good feeling come draft weekend. During the offseason, the Steelers added quarterback Russell Wilson, linebacker Patrick Queen, running back Corderell Patterson, wide receiver Van Jefferson, and safety Deshaun Elliott in free agency. They also traded for quarterback Justin Fields and cornerback Dante Jackson, giving them four picks in the first three rounds of the draft. Mike Tomlin has high expectations for the Steelers' wide receivers. Tomlin also spoke about the wide receiver core the team will have for the 2024 season. I'm comfortable with the trajectory of that room, Tomlin said. There's a lot of talent available to us. And a lot of those guys participate. If you look at the Rams kid, Puka Nakua, it was really meaningful this year, and to think maybe he was a fifth-round pick. That's what's going on at that position. So, that leaves all of us comfortable, not just us, but us as a collective, the National Football League. And we're certainly very comfortable with the trajectory of George Pickens in terms of what he'll be able to provide us as a player, not only in terms of play but also what he's experienced within the room and within this organization. After a 2023 season where they finished with a record of 10 wins and 7 losses, the Steelers were eliminated in the wild card round of the playoffs. Since Mike Tomlin took over as head coach in 2007, the team has never experienced a winless season. However, despite this consistency, the Steelers haven't reached the Super Bowl since 2010 when they were defeated by the Green Bay Packers. Now, with the strategic moves made in the offseason, the team is confident they can return to the Super Bowl stage by the end of the 2024 season. It's exciting to see how the team is gearing up for the next challenge. With young and talented players like Puka Nakua and George Pickens, the Steelers are ready to take on any opponent that comes their way. So, fans, what are your expectations for the 2024 season? Let us know your predictions in the comments below. And now let's delve into the commercial history behind the Steelers' first-round draft picks. Omar Khan, the general manager, made waves in the sports world by orchestrating a strategic draft in 2023, propelling the team to what was considered an outstanding class. And now, with the 2024 NFL draft around the corner, questions arise. Will Khan make another bold move? Let's find out! Debuting as the general manager of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Omar Khan surprised everyone by leading the 2023 draft with a series of trades that gave a powerful boost to the team. This maneuver was applauded as a masterstroke, contributing to the success of one of the best draft classes ever seen. These trades included a first-round swap, with the Steelers moving up three spots to leapfrog the New York Jets and land Broderick Jones. With Pittsburgh holding the 20th overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft this Thursday, will Khan make a move again? He's left the door open, but Khan mentioned he'd struggle to trade away a good player staring at him on draft day. In my opinion, you never give up on a good player. But, obviously, if there's a scenario where it makes sense for both sides, it's something we'll look into, Khan said. We'll listen. 
This approach is understandable. Khan may be a newcomer as a general manager, but his two decades of experience as Kevin Colbert's right-hand man in Pittsburgh speak for themselves. Additionally, the Steelers have a consistent track record of positive first-round trades, which boosts confidence in his leadership. Here's the complete breakdown of every time Khan or Colbert made a trade involving the Steelers' first-round pick, the players they could have chosen, and how it worked out for both sides. 2001 Original Pick Number 16 Traded Dropped to number 19 with New York Jets Selected Player NT Casey Hampton Player Picked at Original Slot WR Santana Moss Also Acquired in the Trade 2001 Fourth Road Number 111 OT Mathias and Quenty 2001 Sixth Road Number 181 DL Rodney Bailey Players Chosen in Between OG Steve Hutchinson, Seattle, OT Jeff Backus, Detroit. Evaluation. Moss was a very talented player, but the Steelers filled a major need with a player who became a franchise icon. It's hard to imagine the Steelers winning the Super Bowl in the 2000s without Casey Hampton. 2003 Original Pick. Number 27 Traded. Up to number 16 with Kansas City Selected Player. SS Troy Palamalu player picked at original slot. RB Larry Johnson also forfeited in the trade. 2003, third road no sixth road no. Players chosen in between. WR Bryant Johnson, Arizona, LB Calvin Pace, Arizona, QB Kyle Bowler, Baltimore, OT George Foster, Denver, C Jeff Fain, Cleveland, QB Rex Grossman, Chicago, R.B. Willis McGahey, Buffalo, T. E. Dallas Clark, Indianapolis, William Joseph, New York Giants, Kwame Jerry's, San Francisco. Evaluation. With all due respect to Clark and McGahey, look at the pile of garbage the Steelers bypassed to take the best player in the entire draft at 16th overall. This trade might be among the most underrated moves of all time. The Steelers won two Super Bowls with Palamalu, and now he's in the Hall of Fame. Johnson was a good defender for Kansas City, but they did nothing with the other two picks to justify the drop. 2006 Original Pick Number 32 Traded Down to number 25 with New York Giants selected player. WR Santonio Holmes player picked at original slot. D. Mathias Kawanuka also forfeited in the trade. 2006 Third Road Number 129 OT Guy Wimper, players chosen in between. DT John McCargo, Buffalo. RB D'Angelo Williams, Carolina. T Marcedes Lewis, Jacksonville. C Nick Mangold, New York Jets. RB Joseph Adai, Indianapolis. CB Kelly Jennings, Seattle. Evaluation. Holmes made the greatest catch in Steelers history to win Super Bowl 43. Although he wasn't the long-term player you hoped to get with a first-round pick, he made his years in Pittsburgh count, while none of the three players the Giants picked made Colbert and company regret that move for a second. 2019 Original Pick Number 20 Traded Up to number 10 with Denver Broncos selected player. ILB Devin Bush player picked at original slot. T. Noah Fant also forfeited in the trade. 2019 Second road no third road number 83, C. Lloyd Cushenberry, players chosen in between. O.T. Jonah Williams, Cincinnati. O.L.B. Rashawn Gary, Green Bay. D.T. Christian Wilkins, Miami. O.G. Chris Lindstrom, Atlanta. Q.B. Dwayne Haskins, Washington. D.E. Brian Burns, Carolina. D.T. Dexter Lawrence, New York Giants. C. Garrett Bradbury, North Carolina. State, DT Jeffrey Simmons, Tennessee. Evaluation, what a disaster. Not only did Bush never live up to his billing as a top 10 pick at linebacker, but the Steelers passed on an unusually high number of players at viable positions of need to make it work. Fant would have been a great tight end pick, two years before the Steelers drafted Pat Fryermuth. Jonah Williams would have bolstered the right tackle spot for a long time. Chris Lindstrom or Garrett Bradbury could have been a long-term replacement for Ramon Foster at guard. 
Practically the only players the Steelers wouldn't have wanted were the edge rushers and the defensive tackles, but they all turned out well too. 2020 Original Pick Number 18 Traded To Miami for FS Minka Fitzpatrick player picked at original slot. OT Austin Jackson also forfeited in the trade. 2020 Fifth Road No. Marshall Austin Jackson just signed a contract extension to remain Miami's starting right tackle in the near future, and that's usually good value for the 18th pick, the Steelers would have been fine with the 20th pick this year. But it's nothing compared to the player Fitzpatrick has been for the Steelers, becoming a three-time All-Pro at free safety. The later picks did nothing for Miami as lateral moves, with Strobridge out of the league and the Dolphins trading the pick that became Marshall, now with the Steelers, for running back DeAndre Washington, who played three games in Miami. 2023 Original Pick Number 17 Traded Up to number 14 with New England Patriots selected player. O.T. Broderick Jones player picked at original slot. C.B. Chrisitton Gonzalez also forfeited in the trade. 2023, fourth road no. Players chosen in between. D.E. Will McDonald 4, New York Jets, C.B. Emmanuel Forbes, Washington. It's too early to say how Jones will fare as a pro, but Khan's decision to leapfrog the Jets to ensure they got the last tackle in the first round of the class is something we haven't stopped talking about since it happened. These maneuvers not only showcase the management team's shrewdness but also how each pick affects the team's future. It's a combination of strategy and luck that shapes a team's destiny. And now, I want to hear from you, fans. What was your favorite Steelers trade involving first-round picks? Share with us in the comments below. And thus, we conclude another thrilling episode of Took a News Steelers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Stay tuned for more exciting updates on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Until next time, 